ladies and gentlemen, my name's John Gray, and it's Thanksgiving uh, week, and we're living here. And I am so thankful to be living here. Yes, I am Peggy too. Burton. And I'm Jim Fuller. How are y'all? We're I'm good. good. How about you? I, you know, I had a student yesterday that said they had a 60-pound turkey that they had raised. No kidding. A 60-pound turkey. Can you believe that? Are they going to eat it for Thanksgiving? Yeah, I said, well, whose oven is that going in? You know? Reckon yeah. how big the leg is on that day. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That big around. They raise it there on their farm. I thought that was cool. I that one, I, be, I believe they're just probably going to have to let that one strut. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you're right. I don't believe I'd kill yeah. that one. I mean, the average turkey is, what, 15, 16 pounds Yeah, max, I mean, if you go down you know. to buy a turkey, yeah. if you get a 21, that's a big, big turkey. Yeah. yeah. Well, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people now are uh, frying, deep frying turkeys. Oh, yeah. And think about how big a pot you'd have to put, have to put a 60-pound turkey in. I know. In. Oh, yeah. You Most have, of those little kettles are those, about this big. You know, big, like back you know. in the old days when we cooked, put big the iron. iron pots out and put water in them and jumped in and took a bath or whatever. You did that was, too? Yeah, my mother, back many years ago, would, you know, every Saturday there was washing that went on all day long. Yeah. That was a huge project. Oh, yeah, I remember that. No, there's still those black pots. Those are still at my sister's house. What are they, about this big around, probably? Probably, yeah. They're yeah, huge, they're, yeah. yeah. And they were outside, I assume. Oh, they were outside, yeah. Yeah, you just built a you fire under them. You just built a fire them. under them, and the water yeah. got hot. And yeah. You threw your clothes in there and starch, stirred them up. Starch them down. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, you know, I think my about that hard work. My grandmother, Gray, Granddaddy Gray was a, was a farmer, but he wore a white starch shirt every day. Every day. Khaki pants, long sleeve, wow. white shirt. And that his wife ironed that and did and, that. Uh, I'm sure I don't think she ironed them. I just think she boiled them. She called them boiled. She said, I, I got to go get Pat oh. a boiled shirt. They were starched, but not necessarily ironed. Not necessarily it, ironed, yeah, okay. you know. I mean, they'd be That's hung out. That's interesting. Uh, but he was, you know, you think of somebody working that type of work that wouldn't be in a white shirt. I know. But that's what he bought. That's all he bought was white shirts. And yeah. And he'd have one of those big old hats on and khaki pants and a boiled shirt and yeah. a shovel in his hand and off he'd off go. Off he'd go. Yeah. So, uh, boiled. Yeah, she said, I got to go get him one of those boiled shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, hmm, okay. Yeah, he, was, he was a good one. That's why people didn't have to uh, take an exercise class. Oh, no. You know, they, yeah. were, they were boiling sheets and oh, yeah. and, and working and, and, and there's uh, no need to... Run 10 miles. I probably mentioned this before, but in the summertime, we didn't wear shoes when I was a kid. You know, we just went barefoot in oh, the wait, summertime. Oh, I did too, yeah. And, <laughs> and I have this major fear of snakes now. But, but And I can remember walking through those woods down at Singleton, yeah. all over the place, <laughs> barefoot. Barefooted. I mean, oh, you know, I, 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 I didn't think anything like about it. Like typical kids, you got you have no fear of stuff like that. Well, and your feet get tough. Yeah, yeah, your feet get tough, and you, it's not a problem. Feet get tough, and I yeah. mean, you, you uh, right there in the summertime when you hit the when you hit that hot asphalt the first time, or a gravel road, <laughs> or they call it. I mean, the true name for it is uh, is tar and chip is McAdam. Yeah. It's a McAdam, that's oh, what, okay. the, what they named yeah. that type of road is. And shoot, they'd go down and throw that tar down and that fresh gravel on top of it. And the first time you hit that, it was gravel was sharp. And yeah. somebody and would your stick feet, to your feet. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. <clears throat> and your feet weren't quite tough yet. Do they still do that wrecking tar and chip? I think they do, don't they? I don't know. Uh, if, they, if they do, the only place they did it for a long time was in the county. And I don't think the county even does that yeah. anymore. I mean, in the last few years, somebody came by my office one day and wanted to tar and chip my driveway, and that is, and it's already asphalt. So yeah. I thought. Then think, I think of the tar and feather days. Yeah. When you got tar and feathered, how bad was that? Things have changed. Yeah. They have. They have a lot. And you think you look back and at at uh, you know, all these all these <laughs> little schools, grade schools, and stuff now. I'm sure they still have somebody this week or last week was dressed up like an Indian and somebody was dressed up like a pilgrim. And yeah. uh, in this day and time, sometimes that's considered a little bit racist. Well, yeah, to, and that, right, that you know, might be true. They might not do that anymore. Yeah. I don't know. And uh, I was a beat. 
were, <laughs> were you? <laughs> yeah, I was a beat. <laughs> During yeah. Thanksgiving. During Thanksgiving, yeah, they had the Indians and the Pilgrims, and uh, the, the, one of my buddies was the ear of corn, and I was a beat. And there was a carrot on the other side of me. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, and everybody was all dressed up. And I was sitting there with a with a, a yardstick, and Mama had made a big cardboard beat. Yeah. And I was sitting there. I was a beat. Uh, I remember being a banana or something. <laughs> Were you a banana? <laughs> at some play at South Jackson City. That's they, funny. At South Jackson School when I was in the, probably the third grade yeah. or something like that. And it, 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 every time I go in there, it's phenomenal. That building well, still there, there, there is and a there, picture still there. in the museum of a, a big class of school children that had just done the Tom Thumb operetta uh -huh. there. So you might have... I don't know. I think that's too far back for you. I certainly don't <laughs> remember. Any Would there have been a banana it? in that? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and thank God for the people that, you know, gave their children something fun to do like that. Oh, yeah. Well, and, and you know, we, uh, when I went over to East Lincoln School, you know, they, they, we had a little band. Oh, did you really? grade school band, and by the time they got around to me, the only thing left was a triangle. So you yeah. had the triangle. So I, I hit a triangle <laughs> yeah. every now and then. they go. Yeah. <laughs> and you were right on it. I was on it. You yeah. probably had the beat better than anybody else. You should have been I playing a drum. Should have what? Been playing a drum. I can drum. I, well, I can't, I can't play drums, but I, I can keep rhythm pretty well. I don't have the, I, I, I've never the tried to sit down. Well, I don't know, I probably could, but I've never tried to yeah. do that. Yeah. Have your foot going and your hands going. That's to me is very that. difficult. That's, that is and, a huge and, job. Uh, some of these people that, there's a there's a song out right now that the Pistol Annies are doing, yeah. which is uh, uh, Took Back My Name. Yeah. I don't guess I've heard that. And it has a backbeat in it. And the guy that's drumming on this, it's just absolutely phenomenal because it is fast and he keeps that same rhythm through that whole song. And it's sort of got a throwback sound, kind of like the Andrews Sisters to yeah. it. But it's got a different, it's got a real, real strong backbeat to it. And oh yeah, those guys, drummers that keep time, people like that, Ron Mc, uh, Ronnie McFarland. Ronnie McFarland, yeah. Nobody realizes unless you sit down and just watch him how, how great a drummer he is. Yeah. He's an incredible drummer. That's a huge job, Thelonious Monk. Junior, I was always, I used know, to be amazed that Dan Langford, he was a drummer as yeah. well, and and that, that that Dan could keep up with all that after he had ten beers. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, once you get to where, uh, once you get to where you do, probably that. everybody else had to, so they didn't know if he was good yeah. or not. Yeah, you know, it's it's just part of your it's just part of your muscle uh, muscle memory. I find I, I, my granddaughter was at the house yesterday, and uh, she's uh, the oldest one, and. Uh, she was Abigail. Abigail, and she was playing the song that she s sang in church. Uh, it was actually the day before yesterday on Sunday, and it was that Louis Armstrong uh, song, "What a Wonderful World." Oh, fabulous! And uh, I first, of all, first of all, was impressed that she liked th that song. Yeah. And I, I but I, I find it hard to believe that people can play the keyboard. You did that, I know, and sing at, at the, the same, same time. time. You take, know, I, I'd, have to, I'd yeah. have to say that's probably something you got to practice a little uh, bit. Well, you do, but a little um, bit. <laughs> well, you know, using both hands and you use your yeah, feet yeah. to do the pedal, and then you got your mouth or so your brain has to think about. <laughs> Words. Sure. Yeah. No, yeah. It's, it's, it's a tech. We missed Abigail on the Young Artist Showcase because I think she was doing a play. She is so and, busy. Uh, and she's it's real busy, uh, but I know she has a beautiful yeah. voice, but, uh, and I'm, we're really proud of her. I always found it pretty easy to play guitar and sing, but that I think playing the keyboard is a lot harder than that. <laughs> I, it's hard to know. You know, you know it's hard but, to know. But, uh, but, uh, you got six strings. There's 88 keys. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I, besides that, back then I was, I was I was doing mainly country, so you know it, you only need about four chords just, there. Think so. about Mozart. He was five years yeah. old writing music and touring Europe. Yeah. <laughs> of course, he didn't have to work a phone or anything. No, he didn't right. work a job. That was his job. <laughs> but I mean, that's to me, that's amazing to be five years old and. Not just playing, but creating the music. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Just, well, he's one of those people probably with a bigger brain than all the rest of us. You know, there's people come through every now and then with bigger brains. Yeah. Einstein was that way. He had more brain capacity. Well, I wonder, Tesla was is that it way. that or is it that they've just learned to use all of their brain? Most of us only use a little portion of our brain. Well, like, they, no, they, yeah, they probably have a bigger brain, but they use more capacity of their yeah. brain than we do, the rest of us do. Some of us are asleep at the wheel. <laughs> uh, well, th that's a great band. I went to see Sleep at the Wheel at the Skirmer Horn. Oh, did you? Oh, did yeah, you? Cowboy Christmas. Yeah. Uh, old big old big old boy. He looked around and we're in the Skirmer Horn and it's just all this beautiful marble and everything. Oh, it's so pretty. And he's got a up on the up on all this beautiful woodwork. He's got a. A vinyl sign that says "Sleep at the Wheels Christmas Show," yeah. and he turned around, and looked at it, and said, "Boy, I bet they'd be upset about that." <laughs> <laughs> Whoever designed that place, you know, yeah. he had a vinyl sign hanging. Yeah, up there. <laughs> That's somebody yeah, you're right. They probably in. would have been upset. About There's that. Mr. Duncan coming in right there, mm -hmm. Alderman Councilman Jackie Duncan. That's right, coming to see us. Yeah. He's very talented in hey, He's all, yeah, he's all yeah. kinds of talent. Yeah. He might have a poem for us. I bet he does. I before we leave, uh, before we leave, this uh, is my little my little offering for this morning. I have heat. I have food. I have problems, but so do all of you. I'm lucky to live in the land of the free, surrounded by friends and family. I'm old enough to know what I must do. So thank you. Very mm -hmm. nice, John. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah, so th happy Thanksgiving, folks. You know, be, be grateful and, and be for what we have. Yeah, be surrounded. If you don't have anything to eat, call, call, call me. me. <laughs> yeah, there will probably be something call. left over. Yeah, so uh, Jim, you going to have a bunch of, over at your place? Uh, no, they're all going to be out of town, actually. So. Oh. How lucky are you? Yeah. <laughs> you can so. just lay up and make your sandwich and sleep. There you go. Yeah, at, least we, at least we don't have to do a, a telethon or a, yeah, they yeah. Used to, they we don't used have to start with the they, running we used parties. To do the, yeah, we used to do the telethon on the weekend and, and the yeah. subsequent to yeah. Thanksgiving, which uh, consequently you'd work. And then the right, Christmas parade yeah. right that after that. took care of everything. Yeah. That took care of your whole weekend. And then right. the Christmas parade. Well, and then after that day at the Legion, we had every Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and night, we had banquets. Well, companies were through. having parties the whole month of December. Oh, yeah. It, it never ended. Was that the yeah. good old days? I don't, I don't know whether they I don't know, because by, <laughs> by Christmas you were a zombie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Folks, what we're going to do right now is take a quick break, and then we'll be back. It's football time in Tennessee, and nobody tackles the competition like the Russell Barnett Automotive family with six locations to serve you, certified collision center, over 1,000 new and pre-owned vehicles to choose from at russellbarnett.com, hometown auto rental, limited lifetime powertrain warranty on certain units, certified pre-owned units. Too many reasons to mention why. Keep asking the question, why buy anywhere else? Ah, the glory days. Running to daylight on the gridiron and chasing a ball with a mind of its own. Cheering the team to victory and marching to the beat of your own drum. Memories that last a lifetime. But sometimes we're reminded of our glory days in ways we'd rather forget. Get back in the game. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live and play well. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. Welcome, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 
you have to excuse us. It's the day before Thanksgiving, a couple of days before Thanksgiving. We're a little bit disoriented here. At least I am. So anyway, but I am very pleased to have joining us on the set now Jackie Duncan, Tullahoma Alderman, and as we were talking a moment ago in the opening segment, a very talented individual because he does a lot of stuff. And you might just uh, last week he was doing poetry at the Veterans Day celebration in uh, here in Tullahoma, and you do that. Uh, you write poetry all the time. I do, do you, that. Do yes, I was. Uh, I think I've had a wardrobe malfunction here just for a moment, but I'm good. Um, yeah, I do. I, I, I'm thankful it's a gift, you know, and it just it has no certain time to come and yeah. no certain time to leave. So, yeah. so I'm inspired all the time. Yeah. Are, are you, if, if somebody said, Jackie, uh, write me a poem about some subject mm -hmm. right now and you had to have it in 10 minutes, does that put pressure uh, on you? I don't know you? about 10 minutes now. <laughs> okay. That's pretty good. I'd like to listen to the 15. <laughs> yeah, okay. You do a lot of other stuff, too. I, do. I, don't, see, I don't see you a lot, uh, at least in this television environment, but, but, but you're, you're uh, sing and do all kinds of stuff. I do. I that. do. I do. I was just saying one uh, on Sunday we had a big program at my church, and uh, uh, we honored a young man that he's not young, that much younger in the, uh, anymore. But uh, Lamont Snipes, we did uh, had a program honoring him, right. and um, we um, just for his service, you know, to the community and, right. and to the church and everything. So anyway, it was a good program. But early, right after I left that, I had to go to Lynchburg to a rehearsal for a Christmas program, the choir that I sing with, uh -huh. Coleman Martin Ensemble. Oh, yeah. And uh, we've been singing, God, uh, it's been a long time. Yeah, uh, Coleman's been, been on this show uh, yeah. a number of times as well. And that choir's been together, I know, for 50, 60 years, yeah. probably. 50 uh -huh. years, probably. Right. I don't want to time stamp Coleman too bad. But, right. but it's been at least almost 50 years, I know, 40 some years. So, uh, uh, and it's a multi county choir. And so, anyway, we, we do that, and we're getting ready for a Christmas program coming up. So, uh, it's always something going on, mm -hmm. so something to do, and that, that's one reason I'm here today. Okay. Um, Actually, I didn't know why Jackie was here because we were all talking <laughs> before he came on the air, so I didn't have a clue. But uh, well, this is this is. I wanted to say something about our annual Christmas program, and um, and and one good thing about it is that we try to do things in the community, and uh, um, my I, I, this is a part of the Tennessee State University alumni local chapter mm -hmm. and uh, uh and one good thing about this one special thing especially about this is that our the national president of the whole alumni across the united states and even tributaries out of the country oh. um, she is a member of our local chapter okay and she lives in manchester Joni mcreynolds uh -huh. and so she's the national president and she is a part of this program that we are we do every year in fact she does the, a lot of the work on the front end of it but uh the christmas program is to be held at the conference center in mm -hmm. manchester uh -huh. and uh we do that we've been doing this now for this will be the seventh year uh -huh. so um and it's on december the 9th and uh, at 2 30 uh the I, I have tickets uh dr jesse campbell has tickets she's a member of our chapter uh, uh helen whitworth uh our, for anyone that, that knows her, she's a retired teacher in the Lynchburg school system. Mm -hmm. uh, but th th we all have tickets uh, for this event, and um, the event is is a Sunday, uh, December 9th at 2:30 in Manchester at the conference center. A great meal is always prepared. We support the conference center every chance we get. Mm -hmm. uh, and but one that's not the greatest part about this. Now the great part about this is our speaker this year. We always have dynamic speakers that usually come from the university or the, we've had the football coach, uh, uh, Rod, Rod Reeves and um, Rod Reed, and, and we've had also uh, the athletic department head, uh, the head of the Department of Athletics for TSU. But this year, we've got the Waffle House hero, James Shaw. No kidding. He's coming. Yes, oh, sir. my goodness. So he's going to be our yeah. speaker this year. And, um, and it's going to be a great event, as always, and, and we're just blessed to be able to get him um, to come this year. Um, and, and we've got other events that go on, and it's not a real long program. So, you know, if you want to come and, and, and have a great program here, a great speaker, and, and have a great meal, uh, it's a buffet, mm -hmm. and have a great meal and do all this, in a couple of hours, you know, two or three hours, and right. at the most. So, uh, 
Uh, we're kind of in and out, but we, we get to the point and we do our thing. And we do donate to the university. So uh, mm -hmm. part of this will be Tennessee State Tennessee University. Tennessee State University, right. uh huh. So uh, it's always a great event. We have a lot of fun. And uh, um, that's all I can say. And, and we, everyone's invited. You know, just need a ticket to come. And you don't and, necessarily have to be a member of your group. No, yeah, no, okay. no, no. We're, this is open to everybody. Right. And and we welcome everybody. We always we welcome new members, especially you know anybody that, potential new members. Right. But we've had um, there are a lot. I'm surprised. I was surprised uh, at the number of people who have gotten graduate degrees from Tennessee State University mm -hmm. in Tullahoma. Mm -hmm. um, I know. I know one or two in, was in, used to be in city government that uh -huh. had got, and I talked to a lady the other day who was the, um, she's a retired teacher, um, and uh, she's a part of the Dolly Parton book program. Oh, yeah. Uh, and we all were uh, uh, converged in Manchester at the um, um, uh, meeting for that last week. And uh, to promote that, that Dolly Parton, um, I forget the, 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 oh, yeah, I, the I, real I, name, the formal I, I, I name, too, um, but, but it's, it, you know, getting books to kids, lifetime books for kids and um, throughout the state, and it's a great program. What's, what's the Dolly Parton program uh, for books? No, for books, where you provide books to, to I, I thought surely one of our, one of our people in the audience would yeah, know that. I, I don't, I, I can't. Imagination, Imagination Library. Library, that's yeah. correct. Thank Yay. you very much. Thank you very much. Imagination Library. That's I good. used to know that, but I'm getting older. <laughs> <laughs> and the, um, um, the, uh, the lady that cherished that came down from Nashville last week and right. had, had an event in Manchester. And uh, so I, I, I attended that. And I met a lady there who's a retired school teacher that, that got her, said she got her degree from TSU when I told her about the party. So yeah. Got her uh, a graduate degree. So okay. my fiance, my, uh, my deceased fiance who was a psychology professor at Tennessee Tech got her uh, doctoral degree from there. So, no kidding. Yeah, and she had gotten her, you know, her bachelor's and 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 uh, master's at I think in, in Alabama uh -huh. school she attended there, but got her doctorate from TSU too. Oh, so. okay. And it's you know a lot of people um, that I run into from time to time that say in Tullahoma especially say they've got their degree from for their master you know graduate degree from T TSU and I'm just Hey, welcome. Come and be a part of our Absolutely. program, you know. So, uh, and you don't even have to be a, a a graduate or have gone to school at TSU. Right. You, just to be a friend of TSU and be a part of our alumni chapter. So, okay. So we are. And this is coming up, by the way, on uh, December the 9th, Jackie. December and, 9th. And, and tell us the time again. December 9th at 2:30 uh, in Manchester at the Manchester Coffee County Conference Center. Okay. It's a great program, and I, I have tickets, uh, 455-2199. Okay. Or anybody knows how to get in touch with me here in town. Right. Dr. Jesse Campbell or Helen Whitworth. Yeah, because you can call Jackie if you have a problem with the way city government's running. Uh, you can complain no. to Jackie. I don't know about <laughs> no, that. I'm just kidding. I was good, that'll do you, but hey, I, I listen. Right, absolutely. I listen. Absolutely. Yes, sir. All right, Jackie, thank you so much for coming by today. Thank by you. the way, Jackie was working at a disadvantage today because uh, his mind came apart just as we came home, but he's, he struggled through that. Okay, what, hey, what a trooper, now. what a trooper. It's working now. It's yeah, working everything's now. good now. You got to let it go. So. That's right. Jackie, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you so All much. Right. We encourage you folks to get out and see that. We'll be right back with more living right after this. Let me tell you about the toughest guy on earth. He does the work of two jobs, but only gets paid for one. He's tough enough to feed the man that gave him a lifetime of nourishment. <clears throat> he has the crazy strength to lift the man that raised him up without even flinching. That's right. No employee of the month bonus check here. This guy, no, this warrior, will always be by his father's side even if his dad will hardly remember. Good luck finding a gym to train for that. If this guy isn't the toughest guy on the planet, then I don't know who is. Caregiving is tougher than tough. Find the care guides you need at aarp.org slash caregiving. 
Is this the year you want to get fit? If so, check out just some of the things Tullahoma Parks and Rec has to offer. Kickboxing, aerobics, silver sneakers workouts, swim lessons, boot camp, water aerobics, basketball, Zumba, yoga, pickleball, lap swimming, treadmill, karate. Get fit Tullahoma and have some fun with Tullahoma Parks and Rec. When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. Talking history about this and that. It's conversations with John and Pat. With John and Pat. With John and Pat. Hello, everyone. I'm John Rickman. And I'm Pat Welch. And, John, we're here today for segment 40 of the conversations with John and Pat. You sure it's not 41? It's 40. Okay. <laughs> well, the song I'm going to do is uh, one that's patriotic. Great. I used to know who wrote this, but I can't remember now. But uh, we'll do it anyway. Well, that'll make a great segue into today. This program. land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. As I was rambling that ribbon of the highway, I saw above me that endless skyway. I saw below me that endless valley. This land was made for you and me. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. This land was made for you and me. Wasn't that great? Yeah. You it's know, a, you get I better and better, it. John. And that was that was from the er, mid or early 60s, wasn't uh, the, it? Uh, the fellow that wrote that was from the time of the uh, Route 66, when they, a lot of people uh -huh. left the farms out in uh, Oklahoma for the dust storms, you know. I, I wish I could remember his name, but I should have been prepared, Pat. Uh, wasn't the, uh, we're winging it, this whole edition, but uh, wasn't there a, a group of singers that had about 40 or 50 college-age kids that toured the country? And Christy Menstrual. No. <laughs> and that's not the new Christian minstrels, but it was up for America or something like that. They had the name, and they came. This group came to, to Tullahoma because it was a, when I was in grade school, and they had the concert at the high school gym. Wow! It and made it, an impression it, on oh you. Oh yeah, you that, that song that. was one of their main songs. Well, yeah. we do that from time to time. Mm -hmm. That song, uh, Jimmy, Phil, and I, and, uh -huh. and you should hear the harmony. It's pretty good harmony. Well. Uh, <laughs> And I would expect so you'd be right there in the middle of it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we're well, going to talk gonna, about Tullahoma Pat. We're going to have a little history today <laughs> tied in being patriotic. And I think um, Tullahoma is, is, it was put on the map by Arnold Center. And uh, after World War II, it, uh, at least one of the uh, Army generals who was interested in, in flight was. Uh, uh, General Hap Arnold, and, and while he was in Germany, he realized that the German technology was way ahead of ours, and that if we were going to stay current with uh, uh, the Russians who we were competing with after the war, we had to invest in, in, in testing facilities. And uh, Tennessee uh, politicians were able to, uh, I believe the other site was going to be somewhere in uh, Washington State. I may be wrong about that. but. 
I know Mr. Harton from Tallahoma was uh, involved with um, Joel Evans, who was our uh, uh, Tennessee State Senator, uh, and then our, our U.S. Senators Kiffoffer and uh, McKellar were very, very involved and in, in really politicking hard to get uh, the Arnold Center there, and we won, and it was put, uh, the land was donated uh, where Camp Forest was. Uh, they, of course, they were looking for something to do with it after the war anyway, so it, just, it was a, a real natural. You know, that must have been just so exciting back at that time oh, to know a, that that was going to be done here. Oh, it was a, a, just a, such a boost and shot in the arm. You know, I think we've talked this, about... Did this follow Camp Forest? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And um, I remember we've, we've had one segment where we talked about Charlie Marshall's class. I think that was... Uh, 1953, maybe something like that, and uh, he had 60 some odd uh, students in his senior class. In the class of 1970, after Arnold Center came through, he had 300. <laughs> so it was a you know a huge shot in the arm for for Tullahoma. And President Truman, when the center was dedicated in 1951, came to Tullahoma, which uh, to people like. <clears throat> Uh, the couches and the, the, the piles that, that uh, were active in, in local history, that was a, a really big event at, at that time. And we've got pictures today that uh, I think were originally uh, taken by Mr. Powell, but I am not positive. And the first one was out at Northern Field. President Truman was flown to, to Northern Field, and you, I think you, from the, hopefully you can see uh, President Truman in the suit. Uh, and there is a gentleman, a young gentleman with dark hair and sunglasses and a light suit that's to his left. And that is, is Senator Kefauver. Uh Let's go with the next one, Philip. Uh, let's see here. That's still at the airport. And if you can f find uh, President Truman in the, just a little bit to the left of center in the front, there was a lady with a wide brim hat, and that Mr. Uh, General uh, Arnold had passed away, but uh, that's uh, Mrs. Arnold there is widow. And uh, behind President Truman is a gentleman with a uh, kind of a multicolored uh, tie with his hair parted in the middle. That is Joel Evans from Smithville. And to his left is Tullahoma's uh, Mr. Harton who would, again would have been really involved in this. And there are probably plenty of other dignitaries in there that I'm leaving out, but that's the ones that I can identify. And uh, they uh, then rode in a big parade down Jackson Street from Northern Field out to Arnold Center. And in the main car there you can see uh, President Truman again. And um, there's a gentleman sitting uh, in the seat above, who's got his arm on the side, and that, I believe, is Governor Browning, uh, who was Governor of Tennessee at the time, and uh, I had the pleasure of staying in a, living in a dorm one uh, semester at Tennessee Tech that was named after Governor Browning. And uh, you can just barely see a motorcycle in the right corner there, and that is Tullahoma's Tom Womack, and one of the other pictures I, he is saluting that I, I failed to mention him. Tom's in his 90s, and we want to give a little shout out to, yes, to him sir. today he's too. Nice That's a, yeah, he's a nice he guy. Showed in both pictures, and, and uh, that was. I wish we'd, uh, we'd had enough time, John, and enough initiative to us to get out to the historian at ADC. I'm sure they've got a lot of pictures that that was a really big event when the when the parade got. That picture, can you put that last one back up, uh, Philip? We get people kind of oriented. You can see a building just in the right hand corner. That is Millie's Bridal Shop, if uh, you know where that is on Jackson Street. And then to the left, if you could, if the, the camera lens was wide enough, is South Jackson. Civic Center. So that kind of orients Big you to where Dunes that was. Big Dunes in Tullahoma, Tennessee. Big Dunes in Tullahoma. They're getting ready to go to the viaduct, turn left, and proceed on to Arnold Center, that was which a, was a big, big event for yeah. Tullahoma. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was a good day to remember. It was, it was, a, a, it was a, a big Probably day to remember. Probably as memorable 
as ever has been that in Tullahoma. That is probably, I'm sure, probably true. It, I'm sure the, I, I don't think uh, the president has come before. Now, the, the, the day that you moved to Tullahoma, John, would have been momentous, but it, that it didn't, probably didn't catch no. No. the president coming to town. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get uh, worse, John, we need to quit. <laughs> That's, uh, we enjoyed it. We had a great time. That's segment number 41, or did I say it's? I can't remember. It's now. 41. Well, segment 40. No, it's not. 40. John, that's 40. Excuse us. We're going to lose this someday. We're going to lose the track. I we hope not. That's pro we'll probably yeah. lose it when management tells us we're out. But that's not <laughs> the end of our story. We've got plenty more to come if, if they'll still have us. Thank you all. <laughs> Talking history about this and that. It's conversations with John and Pat. With John and Pat. With John and Pat. It's time for every family and business in Tullahoma to go green and recycle. Tullahoma Public Works makes it simple and easy to recycle. Just place your recyclable materials, paper, plastic, aluminum, and cardboard beside your garbage container on the same day your garbage is picked up. Your recycled materials don't have to be in a fancy container. Recycling is not only the right thing to do, it makes sense. Recycling pays. Paying to bury our garbage costs each of us. Please do your part. Let's go green, Tullahoma, and recycle. Hi, I'm Cindy. And I'm Jacob. I'm the rooster. And I'm the red mate. And we would like to welcome you to Rooster Wear. Yes, Rooster Wear is a cottage industry producing accessories for men, women, children, babies, and pets. All items are hand cut and sewn locally. Rooster Wear specializes in bow ties, pocket squares, scarves, cufflinks, neckties, and aprons of all sizes for all ages. Baby products include onesies, diaper covers, bibs, and burp pads. All bow ties, tie it yourself, or pre tied come with an adjustable neckband. All products can be made with the material of your choice as special orders are available upon request. Don't be standing back looking at fashion. Create your own with Rooster Wear. Come visit us at roosterandredmaiden.com to find our handcrafted designs for the cock of the wall. <laughs> Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. Welcome back. I have with me this morning Emma Coleman and Kathy Reeder, and we're going to talk about Tullahoma Daycare and Tour of Homes and why, what, and where. So, okay. ladies, who wants to start? I will. Give us a little history on the history yeah. of Tullahoma Daycare. Tullahoma Daycare is 50 years old this year. That is fabulous. It was founded. Um, by Mr. Ben Wilkins and Mr. John Nicholson when they realized that they needed safe, affordable, healthy daycare for their workers' children. Um, it's grown since then um, to encompass the whole community and surrounding areas too. We don't just serve Tallahoma, we serve... And what age children are at daycare? Uh, we take them age uh, two and a half years if they're potty trained up to five years. Two and a half to five years and, and that's a wide range of kids to take mm -hmm. care of and it's a wonderful thing that you do. And we want to get to the fact that you're doing the tour of homes in support of Tallahoma Daycare. Tell daycare. And you've been doing it about 
15 years? Is that what you told me? Or I'm, I'm guessing. Think, That's all right. I'm, it doesn't matter how many years. It's, I've been doing it for five. So, okay. Um, this year we have four absolutely fabulous houses. They are all different. We could call this before and after because they've all been renovated in some oh, fashion. Um, the oldest home on the tour is the home of Stephanie and Randy Steverson on Blackwell Street and they bought this house in that's beautiful. I mean, I love and that. And within a year, they um, renovated, rebuilt the porches. Randy is a renovation um, expert. He's a, he's a contractor. They renovated. They um, got the house on the National Historic Registry. Uh, they got that um, from the Smother Runs, correct? Yes. And I'm it so was, pleased that that's on the historical preservation yes. list because it's one of the f beautiful homes that we have. And uh, it, that we, is that first on the tour? It's, or does it matter? It, it doesn't matter. Oh, that's right. It's, you, you it's a to live. pace yourself. Um, the, the tickets are on sale all over town. Um, and we have a phone number, so um, shall we put that down? Phone number, yes, is 455-4197. Tickets are available at Telehoma Daycare. And, and if um, you buy them early, it's $15, correct? In advance, $15, $20 the day of. Okay. So um, there, and, and it, it's hard to go anywhere probably without without seeing a encountering okay. a well, ticket sale. Emma, what um, does some of the money go to that, uh, they, that is uh, brought in from this beautiful event? Well, it helps to go, you know, with operating expenses. Right. Um, with the supplies uh, for the children, uh, giving them an opportunity to do some things that normally uh, they couldn't do. Um, we did recently, went to Granddaddy's Farm and uh, just and that was uh, fun. Mm -hmm, it was. We had a good time, even though it was rainy. But we had a good time. Just have to hold it. <laughs> We're having a little microphone problem here, and so <laughs> just hold it up. So we'll, so we'll be sure and hear you. Uh, Here's what the board has realized, um, Peggy. These are children who um, are prepared when they enter kindergarten and that's our goal to prepare the children for um, their their to be lifelong learners but one of the things that we realize is that they um, gain confidence when they have the experiences that children with more opportunities have and so these enrichment experiences that they are able to do just really kind of help them. You know what I think? I think it's the enrichment experiences that stay with them the rest of their lives. Sometimes it'll by, the other part will bypass, but those those will stand out. They did in my life as, as I have they, grown. Yeah. They do. And um, the, the staff at Tell Home Daycare has that as their mission to prepare these children for school and really they enter school prepared. What's their brigand score? Usually anywhere from 95 to 98. That's that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they, they go into kindergarten or wherever they go. So you are not covering kindergarten. No, we, we do have a pre-K class they, yeah. to get them prepared for kindergarten. So when they go to kindergarten they can be prepared. Uh, are, can you hear her all right because the microphone is okay, okay. this is the this is the Boggs house this is another renovation um, massive total renovation That's amazing it is amazing it's where is um, that located it's on Short Springs right across the street from the golf course at the corner of oh, Macon yeah. Manor and Short Springs um, I love that it it um, it was designed by a student of Frank Lloyd Wright, and um, the Boggs bought this house in 2017, 2018, I've forgotten, um, and had spent a year completely, completely redoing renovating it. it. It's, well, it's amazing. Beautiful. It, it is, is beautiful. beautiful. How, how long do you think it takes to go through each house? 
10 minutes, you know what? 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I've never minutes. been through them. I'm a hard person, <laughs> too. Um, it, um, it takes, I'd say it could take 30 minutes. You can easily do the yeah. tour between 1 and 5. I and see then what you mean. Visit the silent auction at First Choice Realty. Or what are too. some of the silent auction things? Silent you know auction them? things are, are are really good. I have a gorgeous Christmas wreath right now oh, in my wonderful. car. Um, <laughs> we have, um, of course, some some crafts from local artists. Um, and we have lots of gift certificates. Do you still want any more yes. uh, things? So anybody that wants to donate, four one nine seven. There, call that number, That's and we'll, you can either drop it off, I guess, or somebody will go pick it up we'll, if necessary. We'll that's exactly right. Because it's all about making money for this wonderful organization, Tillahoma Daycare, 50 years of existence. Whose home is that? Okay, this is Tim and Susan Campbell's house. It's on Country Club. This was supposed to be on the tour two years ago, but if you remember the um, tornado and ripped into that area, that yes. area, their yard. Well, thank was goodness they're back with in trees. business. Obviously, <laughs> it's beautiful. In fact, one of our silent auction items, Tim has made from a tree that was down in their yard. It's it's um, some coasters. Okay, and that and is that is a picture of a double dot. <laughs> <laughs> so oh we got gosh. three of them. There's one more, and that's Tom and Sonia Tate's house which is on East Lincoln Street. Right so maybe we didn't get their picture for some reason. Maybe okay. that last picture was in place up. It's a wonderful okay. tour. We don't have much more time, so I encourage everybody to jump in your car when the day comes and make sure and, you and got have your, a good good fun and afternoon. let's remind them where the last where they can get their tickets at the last minute. Tickets at the last minute at any of the houses. Oh, you they can just could, go up to the door and pay as go you go the, in. Go okay. to the door well, that's and easy. buy a ticket there. You can stop by First Choice Realty where the silent auction will be held and we'll sell you a ticket there. You can um, buy them anywhere okay. in town right now. The important thing is to, if you don't have time to visit the house, donate some money because they still need it. Tallahoma Daycare is a wonderful facility and got some wonderful teachers <laughs> that take care of your children. And 50 years old. 50 years, I know, that's wonderful and I appreciate the fact that this organization has been in business and that you're so good to volunteer to it's, keep it's, it going. Thank you. So girls, thanks for coming and good luck thank with you. this event. We'll be back with something. Smoking tobacco accounts for three of every ten fire deaths in the United States. Tullahoma Fire Department, Tullahoma Fire Department, need you en route to a structure fire, 202 Main Street, heavy smoke showing, neighbors advise child trapped inside. Lighters, matches, and associated smoking paraphernalia are the leading cause of preschooler fire deaths. We as firefighters know that most structure fires can be prevented. Stop! I've got one! I've got one! Command, this is primary search. We have a victim. Need EMS to meet us at the front door. Please help us to give you a fighting chance. This can be prevented. Contact the Tullahoma Fire Department for a free home safety inspection. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip, and then, boom. Adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and news makers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network.
all my good friends in TV land. Thank you for that introduction, John. And good morning, TV camera ladies. Everybody's looking chipper this morning. Morning, Dot. Hope you're feeling better. And all our good friends that uh, watched last week said, do some more about the, the old business, the old industrial plants in Tullahoma. So I thought I'd do a little continuation of, of that program. We mentioned uh, uh, the oldest industrial plant in Tullahoma being the Klondike or Camel Lumber Company and Lantern Manufacturing Company. And we thought we'd mention a few more. It would take days to, to cover all of them properly. But the, um, the other uh, sporting goods plant that was in came to Tullahoma many years ago was Wilson Sporting Goods. And it was on uh, uh, Wilson Avenue. And uh, believe it or not, they made tennis rackets and, and a lot of other sporting goods that uh, many people were not aware of. But they're the, one of the biggest industrial plants in Tullahoma now. And they make their uh, professional grade of uh, golf clubs uh, at their plant on Wilson Avenue. And they ship dozens of, uh, uh, of uh, clubs uh, every week. And uh, not only the drivers, but the whole set of, uh, of golf clubs that the professionals use. And they, they have golf bags, too, that they that they make and ship. I don't know what the total uh, employment is there, but it's a well-established, long-time firm that we're really, really proud of. One of the uh, long-time businesses, industrial business in Tullahoma, in 1934, the city of Tullahoma built a, a large factory building on um, South Anderson Street at the corner of, uh, of uh, Carroll and um, Anderson. It was a shoe factory. And they, they uh, built it uh, and leased it to the General Shoe Corporation of Nashville for a dollar a year. And it gave employment to several hundred people. And it was a big, big uh, weekend celebration uh, inaugurating the establishment of that building. And, and for years and years, General Shoe uh, made Jarman and uh, Fortune and uh, the Friendly Five uh, uh, shoe that was so popular from General Shoe. And it operated from 1934 up until uh, General Shoe uh, sold part of its operation. And for many years, it uh, was uh, they made boots out there, the Acme Boot Company. I believe from either Springfield or Clarksville uh, used it at making boots. Later, the, the SAS, or San Antonio, uh, San Antonio Shoe Company, uh, occupied that building until recently. And uh, to my knowledge, they are not manufacturing shoes there at the present time, but it's a long time historical uh, industrial part of our community. And many, many people have worked there for many, many years and, and retired from, from General Shoe. Uh, just behind General Shoe on uh, the Carroll Street of the Manchester Highway, it was a division at one time of the shoe plant, and it was Rock 10 that made the, the boxes and the cartons to ship shoes in. And uh, they're still in operation there, big business that uh, is very good. Now, uh, on, um, so again, South Anderson Street at the present home of Crims, Floors, and Gifts was a business that was operated for many, many years by Mrs. Claude Owens. And it was a chenille bedspread factory, and uh, they made bedspreads. And uh, there was another one that was built and operated by Mrs. Uh, Freeman on uh, North Atlantic Street between the old post office and Prescott Bottling Company, a brick building there that made chenille bedspreads for many, many, many years. And they were real popular, and they shipped hundreds of dozens of bedspreads all over the country uh, for many, many years and gave employment to, to a lot of people. I think we just barely touched on the overall factory that uh, used to be Tennessee Bullseye overall factory that is now Tennessee Apparel Company uh, in the uh, 400 block of uh, North Atlantic Street that employ uh, several hundred people. They make uh, uh, trousers and uh, uh, uniforms for the armed Forces and uh, at one time I understand they had a big contract to make uh, uh, foul weather gear uh, because they had a material that would uh, keep the Navy and Army and other service personnel 
warm, uh, a, a, a little known factory that hasn't been around for many, many years was out near where uh, Mike Thompson's uh, Ford place is on what is now the, uh, of course, the Manchester Highway. Manchester Highway was built in 1941 as a, a uh, uh, a maneuver, a convoy uh, highway, and uh, the uh, it was not used for a couple of years uh, by civilians, but uh, then it was, uh, uh, before that, around the turn of the century, there was a big brickyard out there, a brick factory that was uh, really important, and they made bricks, and part of them, part of them had the embraced in their, um, brick itself, the word Telahoma. The old high school up on East Lincoln Street was uh, built entirely with bricks that were made in Telahoma, and the old Fitzgerald Clark School was made of bricks that had been manufactured in, in Telahoma. And these are supposed to be uh, quite a collector's item. And I thought well, maybe some of these days I'm going to spray one with gold paint on it and have a, the idea of the number one Telahoma gold gold brick. If I do, I'll bring it and share it with you sometime. And uh, there's so many more industries. We had a cheese plant here at one time and others that we'll mention. And it's been a great joy to share these moments with you about Tullahoma and the history of Tullahoma. I sure thank you for watching. And this is not the end of the story because there's a whole lot more to come. If my memory holds out before I forget, I want to share it with you. Thank you and have a good day. Gentlemen, this is the paint. Uh oh, I just knocked a tree over. This is the paint doctor. I got the color wheel. Now, you know what a color wheel is? It is the wheel at the paint works where you pick all your colors to paint your room. It could be a multicolored beard, it could be a underarm fan. You never can tell. One thing we do know is that it's time to paint. You know, you can make your wife very happy if you go to your house and paint some rooms or you paint you paint the outside of the house, the inside of the house. It makes them very, feel very good because you work hard for them and they like that. All women like to see their man sweat, you know? They do, they do. Honeydew is what they do. And you get to do it too. So you go to the paint works at 1960 North Washington Street and you see David, David Heikinen over there and he's the real paint doctor. He fix you up with color. It's so nice when the color is right. Go to Paintworks today, Martin Senor. See, Martin C. Nor, right there. Martin Senor out of, out of the Paintworks. Bye, and we see you next time. Ah, I'm burning up. You know what, guys? There's a lot of tree branches and dry brush over here. We should probably move the bonfire over there. I'm guessing Smokey liked that idea. Okay, so what would you bring to my company? What do you need? I need problem-solving skills. I got through high school without a car, a phone, or a computer. No college degree, though. Not yet, but life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. But you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at gradsoflife.org.
You know, ladies and gentlemen, a minute ago I mentioned something about living in the land of the free, being surrounded by friends and family. There's a group of folks in our communities all over this country who have made it possible for us to do that, and that's our veterans. And last week we uh, celebrated Veterans Day, and we want to bring you just a little bit of maybe some different things involving our Veterans Day celebrations to thank them for the service and the freedom that they've provided us. We're very thankful to them. All of you out there, you veterans, thank you. On Thanksgiving Day, I hope you have a wonderful day. Our Father and our God, we turn to you in this hour, mindful of the men and women who have served and who continue to serve this great nation through our armed forces. For the unsung heroes of our nation, who have risked or have even given their lives for us and for the cause of freedom. We praise you for their courage, their unwavering commitment, and their service. For our veterans gathered here this morning, for our veterans who are lonely, who are displaced in our world today, for those in the VA, for those in a hospital, for those in a nursing home. Tend to them as you have promised, assuring them that you are their good shepherd and great physician, and that you will never leave them nor forsake them. For those who continue to serve, we give you thanks. Bless the men and women who serve within our borders and who are scattered throughout the world. For those, O oh Lord, who have lost a loved one, a father, a mother, a son, a daughter, that you bind up the brokenhearted with your comfort, with your peace, with your strength, and give to each one of us gathered here today renewed strength that we may serve you and serve our neighbor as never before. We ask all this in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. A grateful nation can never forget those here now and those gone before who sacrificed and laid it all on the line to protect and stand guard in heaven for freedom story. Today we pause with honor and remembrance of all who served, for the memory of their sacrifice shall always be preserved. Freedom is an inalienable right that God Almighty gives. To deny it of another man destroys or creates a greater fight to live. Wherever freedom is deprived, there will always be wars to fight. Just as evil cannot dwell with peace, darkness cannot dwell in light. There are good, bad, and misguided among us with homemade agendas and self-made decrees. But who am I to deny one's freedom when God does not withhold it from me? The strength of a nation lies in its values. Its people, their faith and truth make them strong. But a nation that thinks it can stand without God is a nation that will not stand alone. Freedom defenses are tested each day, but we must ensure they never fade, never fall. It takes God and a nation of dedicated patriots who vow to be vigilant to freedom's cause. And whether you believe it or not, all prophecies soon will be fulfilled, and everything prophesied will come to pass all according to God's perfect will. There'll always be room for another hero. There's so many battles fought, but not won. We all can be a hero to somebody when we help them do what life left undone. America is everything life has to offer, the greatest and grandest nation of all. But it's up to each one of us to stand for what is right so that liberty, freedom, and justice don't fall. God said in his love, his love will bring us together. We've got to know and believe that somehow. We may have come here on different ships, but it's obvious we're all in the same way. <coughs> How did it happen? I'll tell God about you. How you protected and stood at the guard of heaven's door. And when the lamb and the lion lay down side by side, it is then we will study the word no more. But today, we honor you more than they could. I'm sorry, but today we honor you, the faithful 
so many gave so much more than they could bear, some more than they could bear. But every time our country needed you most, thank God Almighty, you were always there. God bless America, and America always remembered to bless God.
up in the wind as our heroes did to follow as they walked up, as we watched it fly. As they pass along in the midst of the song, someone must finish the rhythm and rhyme. The lessons they taught, the battles they fought, have fitted you for the shoes left behind. Wearing the shoes left behind, being a torch in the night, how can you ever measure up and match that blazing light that your legacy left for you to see, knowing that you would find in the memories all you would need? to wear the shoes left behind. At times they seem so large, sometimes the pressure to squeeze tight, but the more you walk the road they trod, the more the fit seems right. As hard as it seems, follow your dreams. You're one of the one of a kind. Embrace the morn because you were born to wear the shoes left behind. Yes, embrace the morn because you were born to wear the shoes left behind. Have you heard the news? Russell Barnett Automotive Family has launched its new website, russellbarnett.com. Very user friendly. Over 1,000 new and pre owned vehicles to choose from. Online credit applications. Hometown auto rental. Customer testimonials. Trade appraisals. Certified collision center. Service department scheduling. Too many reasons to mention why I keep asking the question why buy anywhere else? My wife, Jackie, has always been the life of the party. But things changed when she couldn't be as active anymore. They told me I needed a double knee replacement. It's not as big a deal as it used to be, but she still needed to go to rehab. I was amazed at how good the therapists were at Life Care. They took really good care of me. They took excellent care of her. And now she's back doing the things she loves. And that makes everyone happy. Life Care Center of Tullahoma wants you to get active and live well. So you've been meaning to do something healthy, commune with nature, get outdoors and meet new people. We have the perfect solution. Come hike with us. You can find a Tennessee Trails Association chapter near you, including Clarksville, Columbia Franklin, Highland Rim, Jackson, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Memphis, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Plateau at Crossville, and Upper Cumberland. We're on the web at tennesseetrails.org. It's fun, it's stress-free, and it's good for you. See you on the trails.
All right, okay. folks, we're back. I want to mention something I forgot when we were doing the well, why don't you tour just do of that? homes and the Tillahoma Daycare Center. That event is uh, December 2nd from 1 to 5. So if you want to go to see the tour of homes. Have you, ever, have you ever been to that? I haven't. I have. And I know it's wonderful. I have. It's amazing to go to, to go to some of these places and see uh, how people choose to decorate and appoint their homes. Oh, I know. I know they're beautiful. You know, and some of them, some of them are very different. Uh, like the, the, the ship house, it's not the ship house anymore, right. but the but Flank Roy the, the, Bright House. Yes, that's... Uh, that's, you know, that, that to get that the way you want it is not going to be the same as going into the Smotherman house. Right, it's totally you know, different. Yeah, so it's, it's a completely a different nice thing. Nice, wide variety. Come Fran, on, come on, come get on, on the stage here with comes, us. Here comes my baby. Uh, and we need she can some help us get rid of this. <laughs> We have time to get rid of. At South Jackson Civic Center, we're looking forward to the Nutcracker. Around, it's around, coming around soon. Around. And uh, we're bringing Miss Fran Gray up here. To, well, I'm going to scoot over so you can talk to her a lot. A lot? Well, we'll we all talk together. Us. Hey, Fran. How are you? Good. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, that looks Hi, baby. Tough. How are you? I heard you were wrapping it up, but I didn't yeah. want to. You just Share carry some information. on. Yeah, Fran's here with Alzheimer's Tennessee. Yes, I am. What's going on? Okay, well, we just want to encourage people here in the community or in surrounding communities to come over to our tree trimming party, which is a week from Friday, November 30th at okay. 2 o'clock. We have a friend, a volunteer named Jerry Whitehurst, who will be playing quiet guitar music while we trim our tree. Isn't that wonderful? It is. What's that day again? November 30th, 30th at 2 okay. o'clock. And Sounds we're, like fun. We're, uh, we have been given a tree by Lowe's of Tullahoma, mm -hmm. and we're going to decorate it. And we it won't have any purple or orange on it, will it? Yeah, that's all we're looking <laughs> at. It will have lights on it, but we're asking folks to bring purple or, or orange uh, ornaments, and they can be handmade, store bought, whatever. But we want to celebrate our first year here in Tullahoma uh -huh. during the holidays with a tree that reflects our Alzheimer's Tennessee. Okay, and to uh, get some of you folks out there who don't realize where it's located, what's the address? It's 207 North Jackson Street. We are in an old house there next door to Citizens Tri-County Bank. Uh, there is a signature design salon in the back and we're in the front. So look for the orange and purple streamers, and we would love to have folks come over. Uh, holidays can be a difficult time mm -hmm. at best, and when you have disease and dementia going on, it, it can be challenging. We have some helpful tips we'd like to share with you and to make your season bright and peaceful. Mm -hmm. So we'd love to have you all come. And then a week later is the Tullahoma Christmas Parade, and we actually, that'll be two weeks, won't it? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. December 7th, we will be having the annual Christmas parade in town, and we are lucky to be on the parade route, so we're having a parade porch party. Oh, fabulous. Uh -huh. And we'll what have fun. hot chocolate and, and cider and a lot of cheer. So we invite people to come and be with us during the parade. And uh, we're just looking forward to a holiday season where we can uh, support people who are caring for loved ones with dementia. So we invite the community to come. This month has been the uh, month when, when uh, President Reagan proclaimed as Alzheimer's National Month. And we are, are culminating now with the holidays. And it's also Very good. Uh, National Caregivers Month. And we want to care for our caregivers in the community as well. I think sometimes people forget that care, caregivers need care of themselves. Yes, absolutely. And that's a wonderful it, thing well, that you all it's do. It's critically important. Mm -hmm. well, so, one of the things that, you know, people are concerned, of course, about the people with Alzheimer's because they, they, they're confused sometimes and, and, get, and confusion gets, breeds anger and right. misunderstanding but also you need to look at the caregivers in a way that they're caring for a loved one and 
looking at them and going through what they're going through makes you think back to when mama or daddy or husband or whatever and everything, everything was bright and wonderful and the kids were around and it causes, can cause melancholy and sadness Exactly. To the I think a lot of people are get very stressed because out over the holidays. That's right. So we want to suggest and these some folks can help. They're there. <laughs> they're not. A, they're not just a, a, a one eight hundred number. They're they're there. This old, this girl right here is there for so. you to talk to and and help you. And has all kinds. If you go in that office, there's all kinds of, of information literature, yeah. and literature. Right to so, help you deal with your with what's going on. And I'll tell you something else we can give. We give lots of hugs. So we want to hug people and encourage them to enjoy the holidays and find new ways to be thankful and to make new traditions, new memories. That's right. So, so. y'all come see us at 207 North Jackson Street. I um, guarantee it'll be fun. Downtown Tallahoma. There's always something going Sounds on. Great. And that, that old house, that old home, it's right across the Jackson Street from the First Christian Church and right next to the Ropers, in between Ropers and Citizens Tri-County Bank. I mean, right where in, in Channel 6 TV will be in front of City Hall and then we'll have all of that lit up and that's where we'll be showing the Christmas parade live. And so that, that whole corner down there is full of activity. Lots of fun. I think yeah. the church, the Christian Church usually has chili mm -hmm. that night. Mm -hmm. So it's just gonna be a party. Uh, downtown Tullahoma. Hey, and by the way, if you own a business and you want to run an ad on the Christmas parade, give me a call at 581-5238 or email me at John, it's H-less John, J-O-N-G-R-A-Y at P-head, P-E-A-H-E-A-D-T-V dot com and we will get you or your business on that Christmas parade and it costs a hundred bucks and it play, it'll play about 20 times during the month of December. So, uh, that's a good deal. We'll, oh, it's a great that's deal. A it's a wonderful deal. Because Grandma and Grandpa are watching, everybody's watching. Sure. And even if you're not watching your child, you're watching all the rest you're of it. You're watching everything you else. You watch the rest of it, you don't turn it off when your grandchild goes through. Right. So you they will see it. these commercials <laughs> and they'll watch it over and over and they will see your commercial. And they, you can go to Alzheimer's, Tennessee, and sit out on the porch, you know, instead of fighting for a parking spot. That's right. You can just go stand or sit on the rail. There's a beautiful rail all the way around that big old porch. I know. It's, you know, great, it's, just a, it's, it's a great It's a nice place. building. And, I've always liked and that I'll building. And I guarantee you, at that house, there might be a cup of tea. Before it's all over <laughs> with, uh, uh, the, in the springtime, there'll probably be other parties and little things happen on that porch, right. upcoming events. So keep your eyes open about Alzheimer's Tennessee and what they're doing. Call me or email me, buy an ad in the Christmas parade and whatever Peggy Burton's doing down at South Jackson, <laughs> have enough sense to go and see it because she doesn't put all this time and effort into this stuff to bring bad things in. Down well, there are there. some good things shows going on. Up oh, yeah. is good. There are some good things, yeah. So uh, be be watching for that. Beverly uh, Beverly, Beverly Long's Long Nutcracker and, uh, is coming Jean up. Jean Marie Ford are doing the Nutcracker, and we have a daytime performance. I I wish I could rattle off the date, but it's it's right educational after, outreach type it's educational thing. It's educational outreach, yeah. and it's right after the parade, I believe, the okay. weekend One after of the, the days parade. After that. Yeah. So, uh, so get your tickets and okay. bring your kids. It'll be fun. Well, what we're going to do right now is wish all of you a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, email me and tell me how you like your turkey sandwich. I knew we were going to get there. <laughs> the turkey I like mine on rye bread, mayonnaise on the bottom, turkey, garlic salt. I may have to make uh, one this year. A Sounds lettuce, good. dill pickle, and mustard on the top. Mm, 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 it's good. <laughs> Let me know how you like yours. I'm Thanks glad you for made watching, it. folks. Oh, we'll see you next time. Happy Thanksgiving.